At the end of this video, you will become an expert of the free space repetition software and Keydroid from a complete beginner. This is the second part video for the space repetition or the active recall system. If you don't know what is space repetition or why you should be doing active recall, you can watch the first part of the video after this one. I will give the link to that video in the description. First of all, you need to download and install the Enkidroid app. Go ahead and install it in your phone. Once the installation is finished, you launch the app. This first screen will be different in your case because I already have active text in my end key. But don't worry, all the settings are the same. You can click on the top left hand corner and this will show you the settings option. Click on the settings. Go to Enkidroid General Settings. Then go to Enkiweb account. If you don't have an account, I suggest you sign up for a new account. The option is available at the bottom. This will save your data in the cloud. And if you are using Enki in the multiple platforms like phone or PC, it will sync across all the devices. So go ahead and create an account. It's completely free. After linking your account, you will see something like this. This means your account has been created and linked to the Enki cloud. Go back to the previous settings. Click on the reviewing. New card position. Select this one to the new cards after reviews. This means if you have added some new cards, those new cards will be shown only after you finish revising the pending old cards. You scroll to the end of the screen and uncheck show remaining card count and show remaining time. Personally, I find turning this on a bit distracting. You don't need to bother about other settings. Let Enki handle it for you. From appearance, you can change the theme and the font style. If you want, you can play around this one. Go back to the main screen and we will start adding new decks and cards. Click on the plus sign on the screen and select Create Deck. Deck refers to the collection of related cards. You can name as Physics, Chemistry or Biology. You can create multiple decks if you want. For the demonstration, we will create a new deck and name it Test1. Test1 is appearing on the home screen. Click on the plus sign again. This time, click on Add Note. For the first option, Select type as basic and deck make sure you are selecting test one. On the front type what is capital of India. On the back type Delhi. This card is the simplest one. This means it will ask a question and you have to give the answer. Like what is the capital of India and you give the answer Delhi. Click on add. For the second entry, we'll go with the basic and the reverse card. On the front, write France. On the back, write Paris. This type of card means you need to remember the question and answer in the back and forth manner. That is, when Paris pops up, you need to remember that the answer is France. And when France pops up, you need to remember the answer is Paris. So, any information that you need to remember in the forward and the backward manner, you can use basic and reverse card. Click on Add. For the third entry, we will use Close. This type of cards can be used in situations like fill in the blanks. But here is something more. It will be clear once we start doing the demonstration. For the demonstration, we will add the capital of Bangladesh is Dhaka. 
you have to put double parenthesis and she won and type Bangladesh. For Dhaka, you have to put double parenthesis, she two, double colon and Dhaka. This entry will create two cards. The capital of blank is Dhaka and the capital of Bangladesh is blank. Click on add. Now we go back to the home screen and click on the test one. It will ask you the question, what is the capital of India? Try to remember the answer and once you are done recollecting from the memory, click on show the answer. It will display the answer and you have to select any one of the options. Again means you don't remember the answer or you gave a wrong one and it will ask you the question after one minute. Hard means you get it right but with some effort. And Enki will show you the question after 6 hours. Good means the answer is relatively easy and it will show you the question again in 12 hours. Easy means it's very easy for you. These timings will keep on changing after each review. Based on your self-evaluation select the option. For this one I will select good. Next is showing France. Recollect the answer and once you are done click on show answer. For the next one. This is the close card we have added. The capital of Bangladesh is Dhaka. So it has hidden Bangladesh. Try to recollect the answer and click on show answer. The rest is same as before. One thing I want to show here. Long press on any deck and go to deck options. Under reviews go to Bayri related cards. This is checked. This means if you have France and Paris as a front and a back of a card, if France is shown, it will not show Paris again for that day. Another example, if you have a card as 2 plus blank is called to 5 and this has been shown to you, then any card related to this question such as 2 plus 3 is called to blank or blank plus 3 is called to 5 will not be shown to you for that day. For the demonstration, let me just uncheck this one. And go back to the home screen. Long press on test 1 and click on unbury. Now go inside the card and it will show the capital of Bangladesh is blank. Earlier it was not asking this option for today but now it's asking. Remember we have created only one sentence and created two clauses. This kind of close card will ask questions based on the clauses that you have entered. These are only the settings that you need to know to get started with Enki. If you want to fine tune your settings for your needs, there are some more settings that you need to know. Long press on any deck and click on deck options. Click on new cards. You can set this to 1, 720 and 1440. This means any new cards that you are adding will be shown in 1 minute and after 720 minutes that is 6 hours and again in 1440 minutes that is 24 hours. Order. Select new cards in the random order. Better to set it this way because of something called interleaving in learning psychology which we will discuss in the future videos. New cards per day. This indicates how many new cards you will be introduced in each day. You can set this to 100 or increase the number if you have lots of information to remember. No need to make changes to the other settings. Go back to the previous settings. Click on reviews. Maximum reviews per day. This means a maximum of 400 cards will be shown to you. Increase or decrease this based on your needs. Maximal interval. This refers to the maximum number of days the card can be put in this stack without showing to you. I prefer to set this to 1000. That means any card, even if I remember it, it will be shown to you at least once in 1000 days or roughly 3 years. If you are a student giving exams in 6 months, 
change this to 150 days or 160 days. That means the card will be shown at least once before your exam schedule. Battery related reviews. Keep this to checked. We have already discussed this one. Go back to the previous setting. Blob says, this indicates what will happen if you forget a card. Steps set to 10 and 720. This means, if you forget a card, the card will be shown again in 10 minutes and 720 minutes, that is 6 hours. Leech action. Set this to tag only. Leech means the card you keep on forgetting. It is asking whether you want to completely ignore the card. No, you don't want it. No need to mess around other settings. Go back to the previous setting. Click on General. Maximal answer time set this to 120 so that you will have at least 2 minutes to try to recollect the answer. No need to mess around other settings. Go back to the previous settings. Reminders If you want Enki to remind you that you have cards to be reviewed, you can check this one and set the timings. Go back to the home screen. The power of Enki is that you can import already built card available in its repository. For that, you click on plus sign and click get your decks. Let's search for any capitals. We will add this one. Scroll down and click download. Once the download is done, click on add to end key. And this card is available under your account. These are all the settings that you need to know to become an expert in Enki Droid. So, start creating your deck and start practicing space repetition. Hi, this is Suraj Lorembam at HyperQuick Brand. As a gift for learning something today, I put a link in the description and the pinned comment for a booklet for the free online tool. Make use of this tool to increase your reading speed from the comfort of your home.